Source is a 3D video game engine developed by Valve Corporation. It debuted as the successor to Gold's RC with Counter-Strike, Source in June 2004, followed shortly by Half-Life 2 in November, and has been in active development since. Source does not have a concise version numbering scheme, instead, it is designed in constant incremental updates. The successor, Source 2, was officially announced in March 2015, with the first game to use it being Dota 2, which was ported over from Source later that year. Topic. History Source distantly originates from the Gold's RC engine, itself a heavily modified version of John Carmack's Quake engine. Carmack commented on his blog in 2004 that, "...there are still bits of early Quake code in Half-Life 2." Valve employee Eric Johnson explained the engine's nomenclature on the Valve developer community. When we were getting very close to releasing Half-Life less than a week or so, we found there were already some projects that we needed to start working on, but we couldn't risk checking in code to the shipping version of the game. At that point we forked off the code in VSS to be both $Gold's RC and $SRC. Over the next few years, we used these terms internally as Gold Source and Source. At least initially, the Gold's RC branch of code referred to the codebase that was currently released, and SRC referred to the next set of more risky technology that we were working on. When it came down to show Half-Life 2 for the first time at E3, it was part of our internal communication to refer to the Source engine versus the Gold Source engine, and the name stuck. Source was developed part by part from this fork onwards, slowly replacing Gold's RC in Valve's internal projects and, in part, explaining the reasons behind its unusually modular nature. Valve's development of Source since has been a mixture of licensed middleware and in-house developed code. Among others, Source uses Bink Video for video playback. Topic. Modularity and notable upgrades Source was created to evolve incrementally with new technology, as opposed to the backward compatibility breaking version jumps of its competitors. Different systems within Source are represented by separate modules which can be updated independently. With Steam, Valve can distribute these updates automatically among its many users. In practice, however, there have been occasional breaks in this chain of compatibility. The release of Half-Life 2, Episode 1 and the Orange Box both introduced new versions of the engine that could not be used to run older games or mods without the developers performing upgrades to code and, in some cases, content. Both cases required markedly less work to update its version than competing engines. This was demonstrated in 2010, when Valve updated all of their core Source games to the latest engine build. Since Source Engine's release in 2004, the following major architectural changes have been made. Topic. Source 2006 The Source 2006 branch was the term used for Valve's games using technology that culminated with the release of Half-Life 2, Episode 1. HDR rendering and color correction were first implemented in 2005 using Day of Defeat, Source, which required the engine's shaders to be rewritten. The former, along with developer commentary tracks, were showcased in Half-Life 2, Lost Coast. Episode 1 introduced Fong shading and other smaller features. Since the transition to Steam Pipe, this branch was made deprecated and is now used for backward compatibility with older mods. Image-based rendering technology had been in development for Half-Life 2, but was cut from the engine before its release. It was mentioned again by Gabe Newell in 2006 as a piece of technology he would like to add to Source to implement support for much larger scenes that are impossible with strictly polygonal objects. Topic. Source 2007 
The Source 2007 branch represented a full upgrade of the Source engine for the release of the Orange Box. An artist-driven, threaded particle system replaced previously hard-coded effects for all of the games within. An in-process tools framework was created to support it, which also supported the initial builds of Source Filmmaker. In addition, the facial animation system was made hardware accelerated on modern video cards for feature film and broadcast television quality. The release of the Orange Box on multiple platforms allowed for a large code refactoring, which let the Source engine take advantage of multiple CPU cores. However, support on the PC was experimental and unstable until the release of Left 4 Dead. Multiprocessor support was later backported to Team Fortress 2 and Day of Defeat, Source. Valve created the Xbox 360 release of the Orange Box in-house, and support for the console is fully integrated into the main engine codeline. It includes asset converters, cross-platform play and Xbox Live integration. Program code can be ported from PC to Xbox 360 simply by recompiling it. The PlayStation 3 release was outsourced to Electronic Arts, and was plagued with issues throughout the process. Gabe Newell cited these issues when criticizing the console during the release of the Orange Box. Topic. Left 4 Dead Branch The Left 4 Dead branch was a complete overhaul of the Source engine through the development of the Left 4 Dead series. Multiprocessor support was further expanded, allowing for features like split-screen multiplayer, additional post-processing effects, event scripting with Squirrel, and the highly dynamic AI director. The menu interface was re-implemented with a new layout designed to be more console-oriented. This branch later fueled the releases of Alien Swarm and Portal 2, the former released with source code outlining many of the changes made since the branch began. Portal 2, in addition, served as the result of Valve taking the problem of porting to PlayStation 3 in-house, and in combination with Steamworks integration creating what they called the best console version of the game. Topic. OS X, Linux, and Android support In April 2010, Valve released all of their major source games on OS X, coinciding with the release of the Steam client on the same platform. Valve announced that all their future games will be released simultaneously for Windows and Mac. The first of Valve's games to support Linux was Team Fortress 2, the port released in October 2012 along with the closed beta of the Linux version of Steam. Both the OS X and Linux ports of the engine take advantage of OpenGL and are powered by SDL. During the process of porting, Valve rearranged most of the games released up to the orange box into separate, but parallel, single-player and multiplayer branches. The game code to these branches was made public to mod developers in 2013, and they serve as the current stable release of source designated for mods. Support for Valve's internal Steam Pipe distribution system as well as the Oculus Rift are included. In May 2014, NVIDIA released ports of Portal and Half-Life 2 to their Tegra 4-based Android handheld game console NVIDIA Shield. Topic. Source 2 As far back as May 2011, one of Valve's largest projects has been the development of new content authoring tools for Source. These would replace the current outdated tools, allowing content to be created faster and more efficiently. Newell has described the creation of content with the engine's current toolset as very painful and sluggish. Valve officially announced the engine at the Game Developers Conference in March 2015, also stating that it would be free to use for developers, with support for the Vulkan graphical API. In addition, Valve confirmed that it would be using a new in-house physics engine named Rubicon. In 2015, Dota 2 was ported over to Source 2 in an update called Dota 2 Reborn, making it the first game to use the engine. 
The engine has since been used for Artifact and Dota Underlords, with a version of the engine that runs on Android and iOS devices. Topic. Tools and resources Topic. Source SDK Source SDK is the software development kit for the Source Engine, and contains many of the tools used by Valve to develop assets for their games. It comes with several command line programs designed for special functions within the asset pipeline, as well as a few GUI-based programs designed for handling more complex functions. Source SDK was launched as a free standalone toolset through Steam, and required a Source game to be purchased on the same account. Since the release of Left 4 Dead in late 2008, Valve began releasing authoring tools for individual games, which constitute the same programs adapted for each game's engine build. After Team Fortress 2 became free to play, Source SDK was effectively made open to all Steam users. When some Source games were updated to Source 2013, the older Source SDKs were phased out. The three applications mentioned below are now included in the install of each game. There are three applications packaged in the Source SDK, Hammer Editor, Model Viewer, and Face Poser. Hammer Editor, the engine's official level editor, uses rendering and compiling tools included in the SDK to create maps using the binary space partitioning BSP method. The tool was originally known as WorldCraft and was developed independently by Ben Morris before Valve acquired it. The Model Viewer is a program that allows users to view models and can be used for a variety of different purposes, including development. Developers may use the program to view models and their corresponding animations, attachment points, bones, and so on. Face Poser is the tool used to access facial animations and choreography systems. This tool allows one to edit facial expressions, gestures and movements for characters, lip-sync speech, and sequence expressions and other acting cues and preview what the scene will look like in the game engine. Topic. Source Dedicated Server The Source Dedicated Server or SRCDS is a standalone launcher for the Source Engine that runs multiplayer game sessions without requiring a client. It can be launched through Windows or Linux, and can allow for custom levels and assets. Most third-party servers additionally run Metamod, Source and SourceMod, which together provide a framework on top of SRCDS for custom modification of gameplay on existing titles. Topic. Source Filmmaker The Source Filmmaker SFM is a video capture and editing application that works from within the Source engine. Developed by Valve, the tool was originally used to create movies for Day of Defeat, Source, but is more associated with Team Fortress 2. Today, it is open for public use and downloadable via the Steam client. Topic. Destinations Workshop Tools In June 2016, Valve released the Destinations Workshop Tools, a set of free virtual reality VR creation tools running using the Source 2 SDK. Topic. Valve Developer Community In June 2005, Valve opened the Valve Developer Community VDC wiki. VDC replaced Valve's static source SDK documentation with a full MediaWiki powered community site. Within a matter of days, Valve reported that the number of useful articles nearly doubled. These new articles covered the previously undocumented Counter-Strike, SourceBot, Valve's non-player character AI, advice for mod teams on setting up source control, and other articles. Topic. 
Academic papers Valve staff occasionally produce professional and or academic papers for various events and publications, including SIGGRAPH, Game Developer Magazine and Game Developers Conference, explaining various aspects of Source Engine's development. Topic. Games Topic. Source Topic. Valve Games Half-Life 2 2004 Half-Life 2 Deathmatch 2004 Half-Life Source 2004 Counter-Strike Source 2004 Day of Defeat Source 2005 Half-Life 2 Lost Coast 2005 Half-Life Deathmatch Source 2006 Half-Life 2 Episode 1 2006 Half-Life 2 Episode 2 2007 Team Fortress 2 2007 Portal 2007 Left 4 Dead 2008 Left 4 Dead 2 2009 Alien Swarm 2010 Portal 2 2011 Counter-Strike Global Offensive 2012 Topic Games by other developers Vampire: The Masquerade, Bloodlines, 2004. Gary's Mod, 2006. Sin Episodes, 2006. Dark Messiah of Might and Magic, 2006. The Ship, 2006. Kuma, War, 2006. Dystopia, 2007. Insurgency: Modern Infantry Combat, 2007. Zombie Panic. Source 2007 Xeno Clash 2009 Neo Tokyo 2009 Bloody Good Time 2010 Vindictus 2010 Pirates Vikings and Knights 2 2010 EYE Divine Cybermancy 2011 No More Room in Hell 2011 Nuclear Dawn 2011 Postal 3 2011 Dino D Day 2011 Dear Esther 2012 Black Mesa 2012 Tactical Intervention 2013 The Stanley Parable 2013 Blade Symphony 2014 Consortium 2014 Contagion 2014 Insurgency 2014 Titanfall 2014 Fistful of Frags 2014 Portal Stories Mel 2015 The Beginner's Guide 2015 Infra 2016 Titanfall 2 2016 Modified Day of Infamy 2017 Apex Legends 2019 Modified Topic. Source 2 Dota 2 2013, ported from Source in 2015. The Lab 2016, robot repair only, rest of the minigames were created with the Unity engine. Artifact 2018 Dota Underlords 2019 Topic. See also First-person shooter engine List of source engine mods